Good evening. Hi, Sorry, how are you? With Calgary Police. Pretty good, yes. thanks. The reason I'm stopping you is because your uh, registration showing expired. Okay. Do you have your driver's license registration? Yeah, I do. <sighs> so, here's my driver's license. And... I'm just going to grab my insurance and everything from sure. the glove box, okay? So my insurance is right there for you on the back. And I've got, so I just got the car. Okay. Uh, so I've got my bill of sale and my Alberta transfer form. Okay. Dated two days ago and everything adds up to this. So I just haven't gone to the register yet to actually register this plate to this car. But I've right. got the bill of sale and the transfer and my insurance. And uh, corporate insurance. So that's uh, my dealer plate. Yep. And then my insurance is for the company, which ties into uh, the IM cars registration, the right. bill of sale, and the transfer form. Okay. The only issue is that the IM cars registration expired still. It's, yeah, because I haven't renewed it yet for this right. plate, right? Because I just got the car two days ago. Right, but so you have I'm... to have active registration. So you have 14 days during which to transfer yeah. the registration, but okay. the registration does have to be active. And this was purchased... Two days ago. On the 8th. Yeah. Right. You know what? It's almost at the point of uh, the renewal, and of course, yeah. the way it sits in my wallet, it sits right at the edge. Uh, so yeah. even all my credit cards are the same. So you got it, fair enough. I figure I'll keep it in good shape for the next year until it's uh, due for renewal. I won't yeah. crack it. Absolutely. Get, I'm just gonna do some checks. Yeah, no worries. Thank you so much. All right. So uh, little encounter with Calgary Police, but uh, it's all uh, it's all good. It's all Gucci. The guy's pretty nice. Um, got all my paperwork in order and. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. 20 minutes later. So a second officer just arrived, which is making me a little nervous, that's for sure. Twenty minutes later. Second officer is leaving. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. So, um, probably getting a ticket, so we'll see what the ticket's for. Very curious. Usually these traffic stops go pretty quickly, check all my stuff, make sure I'm not wanted, which I'm not, I have a very clean license, and yeah, so we'll see, here comes the officer. All right, Norman, here are all your documents okay. back. So Thank you. You got your bill of sale. Yep. You got your first time I've ever seen laminated registration insurance. I love that. Though. So, the reason I laminated just for it's your info, company. I'm always bringing between cars and like right. I'll travel to BC. So, like, I'd rather just have it durable and you makes know what sense. I mean. And then I got insurance right there. You yeah. know what I mean? So, totally makes sense. Okay. So, there's your license. Okay. And uh, so, you're going to be getting a ticket and a break tonight. So, the okay. ticket is for operating an unregistered motor vehicle okay. on the roadway. So, you've got up to and until September 30th to take care of it. Okay. The traffic court is hot and cold as to whether they're open or shut during COVID ish times right now. They're shut. I've had multiple tickets thrown out in the last uh, 12 months. So, 
Okay. But, but not for you or me to concern ourselves with that right yeah, now. Yeah, no, so. it's more or less like if, you, if you're if you going to challenge the ticket, okay. then don't go down in person. You can uh, send it in, you can mail yeah. it in, or you can find their website and then you can send them an email as well. I just yeah, I've, I've got the address. email in my, uh, in my, <laughs> in my database. Yeah. Uh, All right, cool. Just, just so, a question, not yeah. challenging the ticket or anything. Sure. So in the event, like obviously at, at some point this plate was brand new and uh -huh. completely unregistered. Yep. Is there no grace period for a completely unregistered plate to be registered to a vehicle, if that makes no. sense? No, nope. the second second the vehicle is on a, any publicly accessible area, even this parking yeah. lot here, then it's got to be registered. Gotcha. So you would have to register the vehicle without driving it on the plate, if that makes sense. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. It's just a question. I, I wasn't you're sure. A car dealer, right? I am. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, you know how the process. <laughs> oh works, yeah. No, right? no. Like when somebody buys a new car, they go yeah. get it registered first before, or they just have the documents then for 14 days, right? Just have the documents then for 14 days, right? Just have the documents then for 14 days, right? Makes sense. Okay. So the warrant, the break tonight is that we're not going to tow the vehicle for obvious reasons. <laughs> I right? appreciate that. It would take forever for them to get this thing onto yeah. a tow truck. And I mean, given the explanation you gave me, it sounds Yeah, like and I'm going to make sure it's registered first thing in the morning. Right. So and also, we won't be having just that as problem. a word of warning tonight, um, if you're driving anywhere other than home, I imagine you're probably heading down to 17th Ave maybe, oh. then any other officer could be pulling you over right and they might make different decisions than i and they might understood the vehicle so completely so i appreciate it all right cool. i appreciate it thanks so much just out of curiosity what dealership do you so with? international motor cars so i am cars is i am cars international motor cars of course, makes sense my instagram website i am cars all that sort of right. stuff so we sell, sell this sort of stuff high-end exotic stuff yeah uh, lambo ferrari porsche my buddy that you were in behind in the blue lambo yeah we were just out for dinner and we we're gonna go meet up at his place now, so. right on yeah, so. cool well you have yourself a great night and thank uh, you yeah be careful driving through this parking lot it's pretty uneven. yeah i'm gonna it's turn good. around here and put up my lift and get out and i think it's a little dicey down there so it's super dicey everything's yeah. uneven so you're gonna wobble left right up down yeah so yeah i'll just uh drive past you here so cool back up sounds here. good How are you doing this evening? Uh, we're check stop. Any alcohol to drink this evening? No, sir. I do not drink or drink and drive. What's with the cell phone there? I always have my phone here. Do you understand how bad that looks when you get pulled over? Of course, yes. Okay, so maybe not keep your phones there. Of course, totally understand. Okay. Next up that way, watch out on your right, okay? Absolutely, yes, sir. So that is a City of Calgary check stop. And this is just a reminder to everyone, obviously, do not drink and drive. That is probably the dumbest thing you can do. And don't have your phones in your lap. Um, obviously I wasn't on my phone, but I can see from his point of view why you wouldn't want to have your phone in your lap. So just a reminder, don't have your phone in your lap uh, while you're driving. Hey bud. Hey, good morning. How you doing? Good, how are good you? Not too bad. Just stopped you because your license plate's not coming back to anything, man. Perfect. Do you want me to grab you my yeah, license yeah, and please, registration yeah. form? Sure. <laughs> so it's a dealer plate. Okay. So it's registered to my company and I got my insurance for me. So are you using it for work or what are you using it for? Yeah, I'm driving to work right now. Okay. I'm allowed to have a company car. Okay. okay. So that's my license. It's a dealer plate that you're only supposed to use it for work or what, right? Like for work purposes? Yeah, I'm driving to work right now. Yeah, but you're just taking it home and doing whatever you want with it? No, I'm allowed to drive okay. a company car. Okay. So I actually you... have the regulations if you want me to pull them up. Okay, I'll oh, just give me a few seconds. Okay, sure. Thanks, buddy. Like you were 
work stuff for the vehicle? What do you mean by work stuff? Like the stuff with the VIN for the vehicle and everything, like the vehicle description, model, makeup, kind of stuff. Because well, that stuff's not on the on Yes, the so that registration because the plate they're fully transferable between vehicles okay. right so with that you see how like my insurance says any vehicle owned and or operated yeah, yeah. by the insured so i can technically put my plate on your police car and be licensed insured everything i can put this on any of my vehicles at work i can put it absolutely anywhere and be fully legal okay you grab your uh, video, okay, buddy? sure yeah go for it I'm not sure why I'm getting pulled over here, to be honest. What's that? I'm not sure why I've been pulled over here. Well, when you don't register a yeah. vehicle to a, to a, a, to a person, yeah. a private person, or directly to a yeah. company, it doesn't come back to anything. Yeah. So this being that this is a dealer plate, which are typically yeah. used on vehicles that are for sale. Yeah, and this vehicle is for sale. Yeah, but yeah. you're using it for personal. I'm driving to work, actually. Okay, yeah, and, that, and that's yeah. fine, but I'm saying you're going to get stopped quite yeah. often, likely. Yeah, I do stopped. get stopped quite often. I, I drive exotic cars all the time, so I get pulled yeah. over for the plates all the time. So. Okay, yeah, and we don't just run yeah. exotic, but we'll, we'll run plates that look different. Okay, so you, why did you run this plate? Just curious. Well, I, I don't know. Oh, okay. Why did you run this one? Okay, because I'm, like, I'm not doing anything wrong, you know what I mean? Like, oh, okay, yeah. I mean, we, we query plates yeah. to see who registered owners are and things like that sometimes, and... Okay. So they do documents checks and make sure okay. they're not stolen. And sometimes sure. they're yeah. sometimes vehicles are we have a hot sheet, so okay. that we cool. have a list of stolen vehicles. Yeah. Cool. Know, right? I so. do, I can produce a digital bill of sale for the vehicle if you'd like. No, I'm not okay. I don't think the yeah. question is whether or not you're legally driving yeah. the vehicle. It's just <laughs> a matter of checking registration yeah. and Insurance. But yeah, so in Alberta with dealer plates, like I was explaining to the other gentleman there, mm -hmm. so I can put that plate, as long as I have the plate and the matching no, I, insurance, I which I do, I, yeah, I, I, I can I put it on how... any vehicle around here and be fully legal. Um, you know, I, I'm aware of how dealer plates work. Yeah. It's just that if you're, like, if they're, it's being used for just, we have it. We have, we have our, like a right to investigate. Of course, yeah. yeah. Use yeah. For personal transportation. yeah. So I do actually, I was explaining to the other gentleman there, I do actually have the regulations on my phone mm. that as an employee, A, an employee, B, a family member of the owners, I am actually allowed to drive on a dealer plate for no, a personal reason. Okay, yeah. 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 Okay, no, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm just saying it's. It is a thing that also happens yeah. that we investigate. For sure, like, yeah. on our system as an info post. Yeah. Because I mean, if you're, if it's seen that you're driving this vehicle, specifically this one, yeah. for an extended period of time, yeah. then that's reportable, right? Gotcha. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's not at that point, it's not a vehicle that you're using for sale. You're using it for personal use, even though it's insured and operating under the deal. Yeah. Mm. It's debatable though right because i could i could say oh i was going to meet a client with the car and show them the car right now as a theoretical right yeah absolutely you could so, right but well, can i screw the bin from the door yeah of course little... it's just right here and as i was explaining uh because apparently this might be a stolen car <laughs> i can uh no, 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 of course, well no, no, you're no. investigating yeah. the possibility well, of it being so a stolen car i called call a traffic sergeant yeah. So the ticket for, the, for these vehicles, for the plate, like we just stopped you, yeah. is because you're only supposed to put the dealer plate on vehicles that someone's taking for a test drive, or someone's taking to and from service, yeah. or it's, uh, it's uh, been advertised as a for sale vehicle, right? You're not supposed to put a dealer plate on any vehicle for the company to use for personal, per, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, for personal reasons. Yeah. So I'm going to interrupt right there. Here is the Province of Alberta Traffic Safety Act in relation to operating licensing and vehicle control regulation. Under section 75, subsection two, under use of dealer license plates, for the purpose of subsection one, subsection B, used in the promotion of sales by the holder of the dealer certificate of registration or its employee or agent, includes personal use of the vehicle by either A, the holder of the dealer certificate of registration, B, the holder's employee or agent, and C, a family member of the holder or the holder's employee, all three of which I fall to under this category. Through this, and I actually have the email from them with the actual regulations. I am allowed to drive the vehicle Let's for see, personal. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm not even taking anything. You're like gonna, that. you're gonna have to give me a minute just to pull it up. Yeah, yeah sure, go ahead. But I have it saved in my. Because oh, like I, I've I, been down I, this road I, before, I you know me, what I mean? Like, like I said, like it's if the crowd's not then at the end of the day, I don't really care either. But. 
my biggest thing is that some of these guys, I'm not saying you, but some of these guys yeah. have these dealer plates on their vehicles. They speed, they get photo radar tickets, they do whatever they want with the vehicle, and they're not scared because they know that it's a dealer plate and that these to come back to them, right? Yeah. Like I said, if you got it, I want to see it because I, I, I can learn too, right? So. You okay if I don't have my mask on? I forgot this stupid thing in the car. Whatever the government legally requires you to do as a public officer is what you should do. I called 441 and said. Out of curiosity, I know that you, uh, you say you drive exotic vehicles yeah. all the time, and uh, you could be driving, you could be, you said, your yeah. words, you could be driving to or from, meeting a client, things like that. Yeah. You're clearly using this to go home and go to work, right? Because As of this moment in time, I am leaving a condo downtown driving to work, yes. Yeah. So that, that's where it comes in, and there is, yeah. like like my partner alluded to, like there's yeah. a, there is a ticket for that, right? Yeah, no, I understand that. So this is uh, dated actually from 2011, but it's yep. important changes to operating licensing and vehicle control regulations regarding the use of dealer plates in Alberta, and there's all the subsections and everything. But, um, let me just turn up my screen here. Um, it will be repealed and substituted with the following for the purpose of subsection 1B, used in promotion of sales by the holder of the dealer certificate or agent, includes personal use of the vehicle by the holder of the dealer certificate of registration. Wait, read that first line again. It's what? being repealed with this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but what was the first line again? For the purpose of subsection one, subsection B, used in the promotion, promotion of, sales. of sales. Yeah, this is you, promotion of sales. You told us you're driving it from home to yeah, work. But promotion of sales, I also like meet up with people, people see me in exactly. traffic. One guy that passed me knows me, follows me on Instagram. So it is promotion of sales. I sell high, and I'm not arguing with you guys. I but sell you, you high. See where we're coming from, yes, right? okay. but it is both yeah, sides, I'm not, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I'm not, I'm not arguing with you. Right. There is, there, for sure, is a business yeah. aspect of that. Yeah. I don't, I don't think anyone's. We're not saying that you're not allowed to be driving yeah. a vehicle. I'm just saying there's a weird gray area in there. For sure, yeah. We, we have a duty yeah. to invest. No, in of course, yeah. yeah. And I'm not giving you guys a hard time. Believe me, like I know police get a hard enough time as oh, it yeah. is, and I want to be make it as easy and oh, transparent yeah. for you guys. But it does say like a family member of the holder of the uh, yeah, employee, like, the holder of the employee. Said, like, agent. I just I just want to see it so I can learn myself a little yeah. bit. At the end of the day, if the crown doesn't care. Yeah. I don't care either. And if you want, like, if you give me your card, I can email you the actual document. No, I, I, got, I, got, I got it here. Yeah, okay, same, cool. Same. The other thing, too, like, you can tell with your vehicle, like, you have one bag that you're clearly going to work with. There's yeah. nothing else in it. I pulled a guy over, same thing. He's like, yeah, yeah my dad uh, owns a dealership. Yeah. He had all of his stuff in the car. Yeah. He had stuff hanging from the mirror. Like, it was clearly a personal sure, yeah. And I used that as evidence to go to court. I yeah. charged him as an uninsured driver, and yeah. he got found guilty. And, doesn't, yeah. and he got a $3,000 fine, right? Wow. So... I'm, like I'm not saying that we can't enforce that yeah. either, right? It is an enforceable offense still. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, without a doubt in my mind, you're driving the vehicle. Yeah. I'm not saying that. And I, I just wanted you to make sure, like I know, I know you're obviously frustrated with having to deal with us so many times, but yeah. the area no, I appreciate chatting with you guys. Across the street and in the gray area, yeah. you know, lets you drive around with it, right? So yeah. it's all good, man. All right, buddy. Have all right, cool. Day. Have a good day, guys. Thank you. Good. My name's Constable Highstead. Yes. No reason I stopped you is because your plate's not attached to any vehicle or registered to a dealership or anything. Perfect. So dealer plates, yep. as you know, yep. can be switched between vehicles. Yeah, and... no, I know that, but yeah. usually they're registered to a company. So really? I just yeah, so I just need to see your driver's license and the insurance. So here's my registration, which it is registered to my company. Okay. So I'll give you that. Perfect. And I'm just gonna grab my wallet for you. Yeah, I've no, got... no, that's okay. I just want to make sure that it's all good. There's my license. Yeah, you bet. And so there's expired insurance on the back of that, but there's my valid insurance. Okay, that's perfect. That's perfect. And you can run everything because no, I'm no, no. nice and clean in your system. <laughs> no, no, I just wanted to double check because I know dealer plates, but yeah. usually they're associated to like a company. Yeah. Um, usually, like, it'll just say, like, it'll give your company name yeah. as a registered owner of the plate. Gotcha. So, what I would do is just 
in the interest of next if you happen to be buying a dealership yeah. just get them to check that oh yeah i know no yeah. but what i'd say though the registry is not showing because normally with that plate i get it yeah like, you i understand what you're saying yeah. is that when i run your plate it should come back to it should really it won't have a vehicle information because it's a dealer yeah, yeah but it should have because it has here yeah. on your registry it actually shows um and like that it's a, this plate is to this company yeah but when i run it on our system there's no really? registered owner Interesting. So that's why, because that's the only reason I stopped okay. it. I was waiting for a safe spot to... Yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, and I wanted to pull off McLeod. I don't want to pull over in. No, 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 town. for sure. It was, yeah, so I just wanted to make sure, because I assumed cool. it was some... Okay, well, I'm gonna make sure, because we've got like 20 plates, so yeah. I'm gonna make sure that they're all reporting that yeah, way with the registry. It, it just, that's the only reason, because it shows yeah. like nothing. It says that this plate isn't supposed to be Interesting. Used. So that's why, I just want to make sure. All right, yeah. I'm gonna make sure that all our plates are yeah, registered no, no, this it, morning. It's only so. just an interest to stop give you not having to be bothered by us for sure all right okay have a great day <laughs> you too thanks very much Yeah, no Are you the registered owner of the vehicle? So it's my company truck. I'm from a car dealership okay. and I've got all my paperwork you if you your need license it. Yeah, of course. Yeah And I've got Reggie and insurance. All I, just, I just need your license. I'll yeah. give it to you all I right now Sure. The plate. Here's the Reggie if you want and do you want my insurance as well? I can get it so is the plate actually registered to a vehicle? It's a dealer plate, so it's fully transferable between any vehicles that I own, operate, drive, etc. Yeah, you, but you can't use it for personal reuse. So I'm going to interrupt right there. Here is the Province of Alberta Traffic Safety Act in relation to operating licensing and vehicle control regulation. Under Section 75, Subsection 2, under Use of Dealer License Plates. For the purpose of subsection 1, subsection B, used in the promotion of sales by the holder of the dealer certificate of registration or its employee or agent, includes personal use of the vehicle by either A, the holder of the dealer certificate of registration, B, the holder's employee or agent, and C, a family member of the holder or the holder's employee, all three of which I fall to under this category. Uh, actually, I can, yeah? I can read you the Alberta Traffic Safety yeah. Act if you'd like. You can transport it, you can use it for selling, you can't use it for personal use, though. You can't use the vehicle as your everyday vehicle without and, having it registered. Am I allowed to pull up the Alberta Regulative? Regulation yeah. Act? So I've got the Traffic Safety Act here, yeah. and I believe... Are you familiar with the area? Yeah. So under section 74 of dealer license plates, yeah. it was actually repealed to under the use of license plates to say uh, for the purpose of subsection one, subsection B, used in the promotion of sales by the holder or dealer certificate of registration or its employees and agent includes personal use of the vehicle by the holder of the dealer certificate, which would be me. Sorry, where, is, where does it say the whole, the, what's it called? Uh, has been repealed, including personal use of the vehicle. By, for either the holder, the holder's employee, or a family member. So sorry, I no, sorry, it. where's the appeal part? 15, thanks. I have to just scroll up a little bit. Repeal. That's 2011. This is the latest act that you can find online. Oh, let's do some research. Let's just say this. I keep it handy for a reason. Yeah, no, I, I don't doubt you. I've it's been just, told uh, that I can't drive for personal reasons. Um, I am allowed to drive on a dealer plate for personal yeah. reasons. So, but I, I encourage you to. Oh, you know, I totally I'm, will. Yeah, yeah, do your job. I, I mean, I don't want to give people misinformation, right? Of course. So. All right. So, uh, <laughs> Norm here from International Motor Cars, and as you can see, we've been pulled over yet again by Calgary Police. Um, and I've been told that I cannot drive on a dealer plate. So I've read them the rules. I've read them the act. And uh, we're gonna find out what is uh, what his judgment is. So stay tuned. Shell not attached. Shell not attached. Um, and then it's 751B, is where it's talking about dealer in promotion. If it's referring to shall not attach, that to me it means that you shall not use it for personal use. You shall not use it for this. You shall not family members be using it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna reach out to one of our traffic guys, yeah. possibly the Crown, and say, hey, yeah. does this mean they can use it yeah. or they can't use it? Yeah. So see what I see what they say. Okay. 
I, I mean, I'm, I've experienced it before both ways, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know. But I, and that's just it. It's like, for me, it's the, it's the wording. It's like, well, what does that exactly mean? Does it mean that you shall not attach a dealer plate for personal use for family members for this or this? Or is it saying that you can as a family member have, have the use of but I mean, if it's if it's in my mind, if it's attached to that first section, it says you shall not attach a dealer plate to that thing. So. <laughs>